But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the That March difficulty. Last time we uh, found out a bit more about what Philippa Eilhart was up to and we had to visit Trish to get all the information we needed. And I mentioned it before, we had a few quests still lying around that involved Trish. So today... Okay. So today we're going to... Uh, start off with one of those since we found a few statuettes mysterious statuettes and maybe Triss can help us with that so let's find Carol, out shall we I got a problem. Can we talk? where's my problems Triss yes Geralt so can you take a look at this look what I picked up artifact compression someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine Oh. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. That's actually something really interesting, because that happened to Yennefer in the books at one point. That she was completely compressed into a tiny statuette, and then a few weeks later decompressed again. So, looks like a nobleman. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. So let's do it in the basement then? Okay. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's. Pretty grim place. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Ooh. Give me the figurine and stand back. Okay. Let's try it. I think it's a nobleman. You said be that already. Your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. Uh oh. Now I'm curious to see what that's going to be. Um. Oh yeah. Please make sure your hair is right. Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <laughs> okay, how long have Carl, you been in there? I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. He doesn't realize. You're not Carl. Some succubus. Uh, delusion. Succubus. Where, where, where okay. That's not really a compliment. So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Yennefer. <laughs> In that case, come to me, succubus. Um... You're gonna get your face fireballed, I think. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... Okay. Youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. But you do sound like a bit of an asshole. Here. Take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Yeah. Okay. Was that it? Apparently it was. And I got a glyph out of that. There we go. 
quest completed and that in five minutes great um, so we do have an another quest involving uh, Triss there we go so let's get back to her house or the house where she's uh, currently living anyway because it's not really her house I'm sorry <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but... So, Triss, you've been asking me uh, Carol, twice already. Can we talk? So yeah, if you put that book down. Yes, Geralt? So, uh... Hmm, I wonder if I've been asking that her already. See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Ooh, burn. So, uh... Go ahead. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. I'll escort you if that's what you're worried about. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. Yeah, indeed. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. But I'll do my best. Let me help you. Don't like this at all. But you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Okay. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think True. Think it'd be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Okay. So... Apparently, the Vagelbuds are uh, a wealthy family. I think we had dealings with them kind of before when we went to uh, those horse races with that Nilfgaardian ambassador. Um, so we need to get to that estate eventually, but first we need to meet up with its servant at the fish mart. So that's by the water suit. See you in a few seconds. So into a dirty alley and onto the fish market. Um, Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. I don't actually see a lot of people. So that's a guy, but he's not wearing keys, is he? Um, you're wearing keys. Yeah. Nowhere I can Secret get the password. Price on trout. Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Okay, then. So we have the right person. Mm. This way. It's not far. Okay, then. Lead the way! Oh yeah, and in the meantime, between recordings I also found another place of power, so I have another ability point That's ready to be spent. But that'll be for in a second. Now. 
Yeah, I'll finish him off. There we go. Oh, so that wasn't a setup. What did they go? Oh, no clue. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Oh, but they didn't look like they were going to uh, you would question you. Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I, it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. So, who are you exactly? Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. Okay. So go ahead, what's the problem? So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's got the win. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. So, how did you even know that Triss was helping the mages? How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Why did he talk about afflictions so weirdly? What's wrong with that woman? Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. So, um, we're gonna have to agree with that, because it's actually a very interesting mission. It's one of those side missions I already boisterous bash did distract the hunters before. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbuds balls is true. Word is at the last one they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but eighty-five desserts this time. <laughs> Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from the Zair. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. And we'd love to uh, help you get there, Triss. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Ooh, that's Luckily, a problem. the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residents. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Yeah, as is befitting for a, a servant, but we're coming along. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. <laughs> Geralt, please. <laughs> How do we get okay, to the Okay, then. Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Okay, then. So we'll need to get that mask, too. Um, let's go. I think we can head there now. You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. Oh, god damn it. I bet you can it. get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Yep, we know him. Before, Ellie a friend of Dandelions. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. His Take face. Care of that, then come and see me. His face is saying, God damn it, I don't want to wear that. So, I think we still have the doublet. Um, so, let's see. 
There we go, look at that. Finished already, because you can go to the party uh, while not wearing a doublet. But we uh, like to keep the lady happy. And I'm gonna check out that... Um, what the hell am I going to say? That ability points, that's what I wanted to say. No, okay, yeah, never mind. The last individual who tried to come in on my business... It took so let's have a little side route him. with Sultan. Am I being clear? Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. And all dressed up and all. Um, there a problem? There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting. Right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Ooh, I'd like take to see you try. what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <laughs> So I did want to wait with this yeah, quest for a bit later on, but can fucking shade without the shovel. Shady those guys. Who well, let's they? get it on anyway. Puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. So everything. And the other. Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. So, what's the problem exactly? What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? Oh, of course he is. I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam. The king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Who? so are we. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. So everybody I knows about it. From a collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, get out? Yeah, we'll help you get those cards, because uh, eventually we're going to get those ourselves, so I'll help you. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Mm -hmm. Would you mind going to see him? Yeah, we Zed. will. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. Yeah, if no we problem. succeed... See you later, Zoltan. So, uh, there's a little bit of car dealership we'll have to keep for another time, because first we need to get on with the quest, A Mother of Life and Death. So, a fox mask. There's also another quest uh, that you can start in, to, in the Rosemary in Time, namely the one that uh, Dandelion asked us about when we last saw him. But first, let's go visit Ellie Hall. Again, the lovely... Uh, cross-dressing elf. Hello, Ali Hall. Oh, seems to be over here. He's a man today. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Kind of. Do you have a fox mask? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. 
If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. So, we were explicitly asked to wear a fox mask. So we have a wolf mask, uh, which would be very befitting for Geralt. A harlequin mask, bird mask, but of course, Triss's fox mask. Uh, and then we... Yeah, I think we should wear the wolf mask, because that's... Well, I wouldn't see it any other way. So, thank you, Ellie Hall. So long. And I do need to get out of here. Why are we at the door? We started over there, and now we're at the door. Never mind. So, let's get back to Triss. So we can head towards the Vagelbutt's estate. See you in a second. So before we enter, I have forgotten it a few times, but... Let's go get that ability point. Uh, I have been thinking about this, and I do want to boost my uh, my signs a bit further. Uh, a really interesting one is the the secondary usage of Erden, because we can place a trap that actually damages enemies and slows uh, enemies next to it, aside from doing damage. And the very handy thing about that is that it also destroys projectiles passing through it. So, I'm going to acquire this ability, and then I'm going to put it in the place where the exploding shield is, because I'm starting to lose uh, the usefulness of that, so nothing changes on our sign intensity front. But we do get the secondary use of Erden. Yeah, we know. Maybe she'll finally move in with it. High time. So let's have a little chat with Triss so we can head towards the Veilbutt's estate. Uh, where are you? Oh, over here. Ooh. You are looking mighty fine. You're actually more covered than before. Took my request to heart. Mean you of course we serious. do. Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. Thanks, Triss. You get everything? Yep. Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey, and that's exactly why we should help him. And we already know that the witch hunters go after alchemists the same way as they go uh, after hunters, uh, hunters, mages. Because, uh, we know Kalkstein was burned at the stake. So, all the masks. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Thanks, Triss. Well then. He appreciates it. 